So uh, I saw videos training around some time back and I say and I and I, I, I found it uh, inevitable that I had to come here try to do a fact finding mission see what is happening and that's what brought us here and uh, it's the same thing what we saw on social media is what is happening here uh, Baleke Helen and all the other boxers that are in this place they're extremely living in a dire, a dire situation uh, forget about the, the, the rain uh, the floods but also the environment the, the health aspect of it so you realize that these are people who are not just common people the people who have put Uganda at the world stage, but the way they are living is uh, very unprecedented. And I think the government needs to come out seriously in terms of the reward system, because even those that won medals and they are promised money, they never came through. Uh, so you find that an athlete like her, she has no reason even to, in, to involve other young people into the game, because if herself she is not a success story, then how do you convince a young person of 10 years to join the sport of boxing? So I think this is very bad for the government. And uh, the government, of course, has so many other stakeholders, National Council of Sports, Ministry of Education, and so many other organizations that we really need to come into these issues and see how to make interventions. Because this is Helen Baleke. She's the African champion. She has a bronze medalist. And so many other champions in the ghettos, but their lives are not so good then. And that makes you wonder the program of government. How does it sink down to the last person? Because if Helen Baleke is living in this kind of situation, then how about another young person, another young boxer, another young footballer? So I think uh, this is very challenging for us as leaders, and we need to lobby more with the government. We need to take this voice higher. Uh, she didn't even came here so that we can amplify her voice, so that government can pick interest, come and pick interest, and see how to help these young people. They're already doing something other than the sport. You've seen her workshop the one of uh, tailoring. So if she's supported, maybe given more capital or given more equipment so that she can gather all these young people in this community, maybe that would be a changing uh, story for, the, for her and the people around her. So I think going forward, for us, we will uh, amplify the voice. Uh, we'll try to lobby more, uh, make this case known to the world so that there is a challenge that needs to be addressed. Okay, uh, according to what we've found here, uh, we, uh, work needs to start immediately and uh, I call upon all other well wishers who can come and support her, uh, help her get a better structure. Uh, we really, really call upon you guys to come and support her. Uh, she's saying, but okay, if you wish to support her, you can, uh, maybe she'll give you her contact, maybe people can call her and all that or they can come out, contact through the Federation, we'll still connect the two people, or the two parties, so whichever way. Or we, we, anyone willing to help, you can come to our office in Ugogo, then you can connect you to Helen Baleke and all the other boxers in this place. Or she'll give you her number, then they can call her directly, the same way, no issues there. But for me as the president, uh, I will help you uh, start the project, and uh, I'm going to give you a sum of one million shillings, and that can help you start then all other well wishers can come on board and also maybe uh, support your cause. So this is one million that I'm going to give her and I hope it will help her start on the process. As we also look for other uh, friends who can come here and support the